okay, my dudes. Right, let's say one thing right and now. This uh, maximum male models, models agency right thing going on that I saw the other day on WWE. I'll be honest, honest, I loved it. <laughs> it was, let me tell you right now, when I saw Mace, I was like, that's what Mace looks like, damn it. Like, yo, you could have been to Mace looking like that with all that face paint on and that mask on before retribution. Like, let's be honest. Mace a good looking guy, damn it. Like, he really could be a damn model. But, uh, Mansoor and Mace being part of this new, um, maximum male models agency thing with that guy that, who was that guy that was talking? I didn't really catch him. I was just laughing too much. What was the name of the Mansway or Mace I don't know. He's like, with Man Mansi? Oh, no. I forgot the name of that. I was just cracking up so much. I was laughing my head off. Even the way they were just coming. When Mace, yeah, or Mans, what's his name? Mace. C, May Swan, or whatever, man. It was like weird, crazy, like model names. He had the glasses on his. I was like, what the heck? What the heck? I was laughing, bro. I, I was like, what is going on? What am I watching here? And then I was just, I was just laughing. And I was like, you know what? Thinking about it, I could deal with some laughing in my life watching WWE. It was, it was, it was, it was. It was, it was Funny, and I liked it. I really liked it. What what will WWE do with this storyline? I don't know. Probably mess up like they do with their storyline, but I don't care. Right now, I'm just gonna enjoy what they got. Because normally, right, we all we all complain. Because I complain about certain storylines as well. Uh, but you know what I'm gonna do from now? I'm just gonna enjoy what WWE throws at us, right? And then when they mess it up, then I'll start complaining. Right? But for now, right, it's a good thing. I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm enjoy. I'm, I'm actually. Curious. I'm actually excited to see what comes next with this uh, maximum male models. Is it agency at the end or just maximum male models? Like, what the heck, bro? I love it. I love this. I absolutely love it. The way man sway is man, man sway and then may swore or whatever, bro. Like, uh, man sway. I swear Mansoor's name is man sway and then Mace's name is may sway or Arno. Oh, I would love to see other superstars do it. I don't know. I would like to see some other superstars join. I don't know who. Again, I was surprised to see how good looking Mace was, damn it. He really, you know, he reminded me of, he reminded me of, um, what was that guy from NXT that had the three glasses? I forgot his name. I completely forgot his name, bro. He left and that's it. We ain't heard nothing about him. I don't know what happened with him. I heard some shenanigans, but storylines and whatever. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, he was cool while he was in NXT. Uh, he reminded me of him. I thought, I'll be honest, I thought it was him at first. I was like, what? They bring him back? And no, it was Mace, bro. Like, what the? What? Mace? Mace being maximum model now? Okay. And that guy that was on the mic killed it. Killed it. Like, it smashed it. Like, 100% perfect, like literally, that was, it was the best, like it was hilarious, it was funny, WWE needs to do more of that, they need to do more of that, and they need to just start messing around with having some good old storylines, man, I can deal with that guys, in the comments below, let me know what you guys think, man, like let me know what your guys situation is on that, do you want to see more, are you excited to see more, would you like to see some more WWE superstars join them, do you think this is going to be a tag team that's that they're gonna mess up probably I don't know it would kind of be cool to see them yeah as tag team champions right posing doing modeling with their belts on oh, that would be funny that would that would be funny that would be hilarious that would be so cool they needed to I love like don't get me wrong the bloodline thing is dope yeah like Roman Reigns and the Usos they're just unbeatable but they're gonna have to give the <laughs> the belts are gonna have to go back to Raw and SmackDown individually. Like they're gonna have to do that because we need some other tag teams to get some damn belts. You can't just leave them with the users. Let the users just have the SmackDown one. Why are they gonna have to tag the, the Raw ones as well? Same with Roman Reigns. They don't need to do that. They've done it now. Now I feel like other superstars need to get their time to shine. Especially we're gonna get we can get new tag teams as well. I would like that. Some good tag team storylines. I would like to see that. Faction, I love factions. You guys know I'm always down for factions. Like, yo, they never do justice to factions in WWE. Like, rock bottom, I love it, Montez Ford. I use Street Profits today as well. Do you know why? Because first of all, I like Street Profits. They, they, they funny as well. They funny bunch of guys, man. I like them. So I was like, I don't really use them enough. So I wanted to do them against these guys. Who would be their rivalry with them? I have no idea. I don't know. I would like, obviously, maybe a storyline with Street Profits because 
she promised can pull it off. Let's be honest, they probably could. But uh, you'd have to find out some shenanigan way for someone to get some tag team belts off. Because I want to see Mason Mansour, Mansway and whatever. I would like to see them become tag team champions. Even if it's for a little while. Just so they can do some maximum male modeling with the belts. I'm digging it, bro. I'm digging it. Not gonna lie, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I want to. I want to see another. What's it called? Uh, when they come out on the modeling thing, and fashion show. I want to see another fashion show, bro. I, I want another fashion show, but I want. I want my guy to bring some more WWE stars in. <laughs> I don't want it to just be Mason Mansour, Mansour. I, I want it to be. I want it to be some other ones as well. Oh my God! Like yo, think about it now. There's, there must be other superstars that need a, that need uh, some more television time that they can just add to for the for the lols, for the for the lols, man. Like you know, for the laughs. Just it would be hilarious. I love it, man. So that's why today's match. I just had to do this. I had to do this. I was thinking, like, what can we do for today? Then I, obviously I watched. It, I was like, you know what? I need to do something with these guys. We need to do something with these guys. If you guys want to see. More matches with these. Like the other day, if you guys missed it, we done the, the new tag team of Edge and Bray Wyatt. Whether that's gonna happen or not, I don't know. But uh, we done that. I love, I love, I love, I love to see that. Like the tag team division getting some love. Let's be honest. Kind of like weird at the minute. Everything is weird at the minute, man. Not enough good storylines going on. They need. WWE, and I always say this, and I've always said this, WWE need more than like two or three main stories. Even if it's just mini stories. Like remember the 24-7 the championship? They had their little story, but we had other little stories with other belts as well and other people. It was good, but I need good ones. They do need some good ones, I need to carry it on. They, sometimes we get a little bit of a story like, oh, this is gonna be good, and then it's gone. Like Judgment Day, like Edge left, and then maybe Edge left because they're gonna bring Bray Wyatt back, and then a whole storyline with that. All right, cool. That was the whole thing, good. But I just feel like they killed it at the minute. They they should have made Priest and Finn Balor wreck some havoc while Edge was out. Let's be honest, they should have because at the moment it's like Finn and, and Priest are like, oh, where are you going, bro? They need to carry stuff on. They they need to. All right, they need to. If, if WWE had a storyline every with, 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 with a whole bunch of people, then Raw and SmackDown would have no boring parts. They would have no boring matches. They would have no not boring matches, right? They would have no pointless matches. You feel what I'm saying? They would have no pointless matches. They need to have better storylines. Oh! Mansway, Mansour, Man Mason. Oh my god. Here we go. Oh, and the dog can kick down. Nice uh somersault moves right there. Oh but nice. And really a really as well, because once uh Ali and Mansour broke up, Mansour was like a forgotten character. But obviously, I feel like this is this will do good for him. This will do good. Superstars going from face to heel, heel to face can really switch up their career. And I feel like Mansoor was too babyface, Black Mass Miss, too babyface for any storylines to go on. Just like Ricochet. I'll be honest with you, I love Ricochet, but they do not know what to do with Ricochet's character. I'm gonna be honest, man. They need to really, Ricochet, we all know, amazing wrestler, insane wrestler, right? His in skill, real his in ring skills are unquestionable, but their character build ups are not good enough. I feel like Ricochet is a wasted opportunity right now to have some epic storyline. His character, his 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 persona needs to be built up a bit better. He needs more talking. He just, are you, do you guys feel what I'm saying? I love Ricochet, but I feel like they could do better with Ricochet. Big brain. Um, no! Oh, there you go. Nice. He tried to save it. That was good, though. So far, the maximum male models are winning 2 1, but don't let that fool you. Nice spine buster there by Dawkins on a Mace one. Oh, there you go. Mansway is saving him again. 
I'm digging it. I'm digging it. This could be the perfect break for Mansoor as well and Mace, to be honest with you. Two superstars that potentially probably could have been fired because they had nothing going on. This was perfect. Like, this was, this was what WWE needs to do. This is exactly what WWE needs to do. Before they just start firing people, they really need to, to think of storylines and give superstars a chance before they just go, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired. This is a perfect example because, let's be honest, Mace and uh, Mansoor probably could have been fired, but they got two good superstars with good abilities that they shouldn't waste. And I like to see that. Especially with a hilarious storyline, anyway. I want to see more. I want to see more. The guys, let me know how you do not feel about this. Let me know how you feel about this whole POW! Maximum male models, man. Let me let me know how you feel, man. I'm digging it. Digging it, digging it. Oh, look at this. Uh-oh, he's getting ready. Man, Sway! He stays down for the free count. It's 2-2 right now. Street Profits bringing it back. And uh, I, I hope to, I hope we get to see an announcer table finish up. Because for some reason, oh! The, uh, the AI doesn't know how to do it. They know how to do the uh, move the tables out of the way. Look at that, man sway again. <laughs> I love it. They know how to do the, the releasing of all the table, but they never know how to move on there. Dawkins look like she, I hope they don't get glitched on the table. Do they fix it with an update? They use some crazy updates, man. Like, there are some crazy glitches to I'm in to say. Before, I don't know if you guys saw it in one of my videos, the crowd took the WWE superstar like he was on the edge. And they, they, they took him. They took the superstar into the crowd. Like they were pulling him and the, the superstar went into the crowd and it was gone. Like, it was crazy. It was crazy, it was funny. And then there was another glitch where they get stuck here on the table and they couldn't get out. That was crazy as well. But the best one I've seen was when the crowd took the superstar. Even happened in the Royal Rumble before. Even happened in the Royal Rumble. No, busted. Oh, good, I'm happy they kicked out there. That's a glitch I don't like as well. When they tried to help him out and he doesn't do it. I don't like that. This is all. What is it? No, they say maximum models, mm -mm -mm. male models, mm -mm -mm. maximum mm -mm -mm. male models. <laughs> oh, nice move there uh, by Mansway, Mansour, Mansway, Man, Man, Man Day. <laughs> Oh, oh I, need to, I need to see more. I need to know what to do with it. I need to know what to do. Uh, like again, I said, I hope they don't miss it up. That's what I'm hoping for. So who, would, who would they go against as well? This is one thing I'm really finding. Like, who, what, what would they do with them? Like, are they just going to do some like runway modeling stuff for a little while for the lols every week in, week out, whatever? It would be funny. As long as we get new superstars in, it'll get a bit boring if it was only just detours there. And then if they did have a storyline with another tag team, who would it be? That's, the, that's another question. That's another question. Here we go. Oh, he got caught. He got caught. Oh, no. One, two, three. Oh, no. Street Profits be winning 3-1 right now from the hell of heavens. Montez four. Pow, missed. Missed. Knees straight into the ribs right there. Oh, damn. What is? What a time to run. Oh, my God. Get that pin, baby. One, two, three! Oh my God! Three, three on points right now. It's coming down to the most tiniest gap. One more point and a team can win. I love when we get matches this close. I love it, man. When we get close matches like this, I'm digging it. All right, here we go. Let's see if Mansell can... Oh! Jumping clothesline. I'm liking that one right there. Here you go. Woo! Standing moonsault, man. Take that back with the somersault flips, says Mansway. Mans Wait, what's Mace's name? Let me know in the comments below as well. Mansoor, no, Ma Maceway. Maceween. Oh, I forgot, man. I forgot, I forgot. I blown it out of my mind. I need to rewatch it. I'm gonna watch it again. I'm gonna watch it again. Just for the lulls. <laughs> I need to watch it again. Oh, powerbomb out. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, that's gotta hurt. You know that's got to hurt right there. Powerbomb clean out the ring. He got he's broken up. He's going to be out of the male models for a little while. No, he kicked out. Smack. Power slam. That is just under 60 seconds now. 50 seconds right now. Who is going to get the last point? And, uh, oh, no. I mean, I think Street Profits might actually do it. One, two. Street Profits get it. Street Profits do actually get it. Street Profits got it. Can they keep the lead for the last 30 seconds? 
I think they can, because that was actually a uh, reversal right there on the signature. My boys, this is insanely close. Super kick. Pow! Oh, straight in the face. This is the most longest move in WWE. You may you should not have done that. You shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done that. Last couple of seconds, man. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, here we go. Uh oh. One, two. No! Are you kidding me? Look at this. It's a draw, damn it. It's the last couple of seconds, man. Sweet, go Yes! That was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. All right, guys. If you would like to see the maximum male models in some more tag team matches, hook me up, man. Let me know how you guys are feeling about this as well. Like I said in our video. But until then, I see you guys in the next episode, my dudes.